So, I thought today I'd get out here and uh, just try to do some threading. This is a piece of quarter inch aluminum stock and I'm just going to do a quarter 20 thread for about one inch. Uh, I want to try out my tachometer. I'm using the sensor for the tack, which is a proximity switch, to also uh, link up with Mach 3. And so hopefully it's going to sync up well. Uh, I haven't seen anybody else use this setup um, for threading. Most people use a, um, a disc with a slot in it, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, so yeah, let's try to turn some threads. Now this is some uh, aluminum, so hopefully it won't flex too much, but let's give it a shot and see what happens. I'm going to be running at about 400 RPM. Four here, four or five, four or six, four or six, four or five. It's bouncing a little bit back and forth, but let's just see what happens. Here's a quarter 20 volt and uh, threads line up perfect. And see if we can get a nut on. Okay, a little 
tight there. Okay, and it goes right on. Yeah, it's a little tight up here at the beginning, but I think that's because this aluminum flexes a little bit. But it goes on. There we go. There we go. All right, so that's pretty cool. The uh, the G zero six zero two can thread. That's for sure. I'm really happy with this uh, digital tack setup. Uh, if you refer back to the uh, some of my earlier videos, you'll see me when I install the front panel and I install and hook this tack up. I think I paid like $12 or $13 or something off eBay for this tack. And so what I did was, let me just turn that on. So what I did was, this tack operates on 12 bolts and so what I did was I just ran 12 bolts to the tack from my power supply and the signal there's three wires uh, one power and then one signal and the three the third wire the signal wire coming off I just brought it up to the tachometer and then also hooked it into Mach 3 on one of the inputs it puts out uh, 5 volts or 2 point something volts and so that's enough for Mach to recognize the index pulse. It seems to be working good. If I slow or speed down the spindle speed, you can see that it sync up and try to get in time. So let me see if I can demonstrate that now. At about 400. Looks like it cut threads. See if they match up. And they line up just fine. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so there you have it. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thumbs up if you like the video. And most importantly, be safe.